Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome to my garage. Well, I was talking to my neighbor. I went over and talked to him. The house right over there. And he's the guy that's got that little um, John Deere backhoe tractor. If you've seen previous videos, um, he's going to be the one that's going to come over. And he's going to dig the trench for me. So he's going to dig the trench for my sewer line out to my new addition when it gets here. So that's cool as hell. And it's 32 feet, like I said. And I couldn't remember if it was four inch or three inch, so I'll figure all that out later once I once I dig down. But he was telling me, is why I brought him up, that uh, there's been porch pirates around here, of all things, around our area. I'm like, are you kidding me? I said, I get packages all the time. So I am going to make my own porch pirate package. So... I got four bags of cat litter came in this box today because I use that ground corn cat litter and we went to Walmart. They didn't have any. And I was like, man, I need some. So I ordered it on Walmart and they just charged me tax. And uh, I got it in like two days for once. I got it in two days. So, so this is my bait box. This is going to be my bait box. And I've got to cut some of the bottom out of it. And I'm looking at one of these right now. And I'm wondering if this has enough weight to hold it down to pull the pin out. Because I'm going to screw this down to this. And uh, this way I'll, I'll aim it away from the, the person though. So it'll be aimed back towards the house. And I'll... I don't know if I really got the balls to do this. Because this would probably literally blow the box apart. And I don't want to kill anybody. But I'll probably put a little baby cap in there. Because these... You've heard these are ridiculous these sound like a freaking cannon so i, I don't want to kill anybody but it would be kind of cool because i would get rid of one scumbag but anyways so i was looking for a piece of steel heavy enough that the pin will slide out you know i'll make up my own little cable and it'll pull the pin out and go boom and then i gotta cut a i gotta cut a hole in here and I'll probably put like a piece of wood like that. Something like this. Oh, this is nice and heavy. It'll feel like something's good in the box. Ooh, that'll fit in there too. There. So, yeah, that'll be perfect. So I can put this in there and screw a little tiny anchor in the back. So when they pick the box up and walk away with it, it blows it off. So that is my plan for now because I'm bored. I've been having all kinds of stomach issues going on lately. I don't know what the hell is going on, but you know, as you get older, if it ain't one thing, it's a freaking other. So, another thing is, well, you know I've been dicking on my wind turbines and so I took apart all this crap last night. I took all these off because they were all dead. And I wasn't getting anything out of them. So I tied all of my hot lines together to come through one. And of course now it isn't working. I don't know why it isn't working. But these things are junk. Don't buy these scorpion things. They're stupid. They should be reading something here. I thought when I did my other stuff... I'm going to get a meter on there because let me grab my little my cheap Harbor Freight one is only it's the only one that I got that works my really expensive one screwed up somehow but this is how you tell if you got any juice going on shove that in there untangle these if you don't untangle me, just fall out. All right. What do we got for juice going on here? Where's the ground? So when the wind picks up, that number should go up higher. OK. 
Come on, we want the wind to kick up and won't do crap. Yeah. What does this have the amp setting on it? I don't know. But yeah, the blades are just idling out there right now. But when the gust of wind hits it, it really cranks. Anyhow, yeah, I I really can't do much with this now. So this is basically just going to hang out and be stupid because batteries are shit. All right. So back to my box. Um, yep, yeah, I'm going to figure something out. You know, I might even cut a hole in the middle of this is probably what I'm going to do. That's probably, that's a really good idea. And I'll cut this down so it fits in the box. I'll cut a hole out so this will sit inside the hole. So when I lift the box up, it'll pull the pin. Because the pin on these have to pull pretty much straight up, I think. But we'll go from there, you know. Of course, now the wind turbines, there they go, now they're, yeah, see, so yeah, as soon as I get back over here, they slow down. Boy, they're not re really reading that much. Huh. I kind of wondered if I screwed these up. You know, I hope I didn't hurt those. But when I was uh, back charging them and the relays got really hot, I hope I wasn't back feeding in and screwed up the uh, alternators up there. They're basically car alternators. But all right, we'll get back to this and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so I finished my box. And what's in the bottom of the box is a uh, two by 10. And what I did was I cut a, the center hole out. So in the bottom of the box is a hole. I've got the trigger set up welded to some steel. They got about two or three foot of line before this blows off. So I'll show you what's gonna happen. So I'll be a, I'll be a porch burglar. Oh, I could use this. Oh, oh. oh what the hell was that? So there you go. So let's get a little closer look. So in the box. Ooh, look at all the smoke. All right. So I basically just welded some steel onto a plate. Just crappy weld. It doesn't matter. And then I screwed this in with four screws, pre-drilled it and pulled it. In here is the bottom of the box where I also have wood screwed into the sides down in here to act as more weight. The trigger wire is double screwed like this inside. So I had this turned sideways. So when the pin pulls, it's pulling in the direction that the box is moving. So that's pretty cool. And luckily, I was worried about when it goes off that it would hit this handle and break it off down here, but, well, it doesn't. Hang on a minute, let me, uh, there. Now, if the pin wasn't, if the cartridge wasn't in there, then it would hit and probably break right there. But since the cartridge is in it, I don't have to worry about it. So, I put fragile stickers all over it and everything, so it's got some extra weight in there. Let me light on. So there's some extra weight in there, and uh, there's a piece I cut out that's screwed onto the side of the box, and this, this here is all the 2x6 screwed in. So when you grab the box, it, it feels like there's weight to it. And I got stickers all over it, and they probably won't even notice that screw, but yeah. So I just leave this like on my step. Nobody was really gonna bother it around here, but 
Um, not out in the country. But it's going to be funny as hell. I think it'd be funny as hell. So I'm going to put a new shot in it. And I'll just set it out front. It's got enough weight to where the wind won't blow it. Put another one of these babies in. And we'll go from there. Ooh, saw smoky in here. So we'll get a little smoky foggy going on. All right. Yeah, I don't want to put one of them big ones in because that might blow somebody's fingers off. But this way, it gives you enough distance away from it, you know, that you won't get hurt. All right, I'm going to go set it up on my front porch. Well, with my luck, it'll look like it'll be sitting there probably for three months, but that'll be interesting. Now, if I can get that camera up there to stay on in my tree, that'll be cool. I got all my wires come in for the antennas. Maybe I'll try to set them up today. It's a little cold out, though. A little nippy out today. Well, that'll be interesting, you know. It's still smoky in here. At least if I hear a bang, I'll either know it's somebody in my garage or somebody trying to steal the box. But yeah, my neighbor said that they're uh, starting that shit around my area. You know? So, it'd be pretty funny. I can uh, put these big blanks, these big red ones in my double barrel. That's why I like the double barrel. Because if you put it in a pump, like my other gun I have... You're not sure where the blank could be, or you could screw up, or you can empty the gun, or, or maybe there's one left in there. You don't know. But my 12-gauge, it breaks in half. You look in the tubes, they're empty. You look at the blanks, put them in, you know, you know there's blanks in there. So there's no chance of doing a Alex Baldwin. <laughs> All right, you know, something is a little cold out, but I am going to put these up today. Screw it. I'll see what happens. And... uh I got the correct ones this time. I sent the other ones back, and, and I bought five more wires because I was short. And these wires now have um, the little tip on it, the little female part. So I should be good. All right, that's the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you later.